Hi, my name is Mazda Turel and I'm a neurosurgeon at the Wokhart Hospital, Bombay Central. A neurosurgeon is someone who operates on the brain and the spine. Our special area of interest is spine surgery. The good news is that 90% of people who have back pain or neck pain, they don't require spine surgery. They can be very, very effectively treated with just the right amount of medication and the correct amount of exercise. It is of importance to note that most of neck and back problems happen because of weak muscles. And the best thing to do is to strengthen the muscles. If you do 15 to 20 minutes of regular back strengthening, neck strengthening, isometric exercises, if you focus on strengthening your core, there's very, very little chance that you're gonna have a lot of back and leg pain. It's very important that you adopt the correct posture while sitting, standing, sleeping, driving, walking. So when you sit in a chair, you make sure that your buttock is shoved in the right angle of the chair and you're not slouching in your chair. When you're sitting on a computer screen, make sure your shoulders are nicely well rested, you have some form of an arm support and you're looking at a screen at a distance of about two feet. When you sleep, try and sleep on either of your sides and put a pillow between your knees. When you get out of bed, Try using your arms to get out of bed instead of loading the spine. You take your feet first to the bottom of the bed, use your arms and then get out of the bed. When you sit in a car, try and sit first in a car and then get both your feet into the car at the same time. And the same thing applies when you get out of the car. If you can do these basic maneuvers, you will significantly reduce the wear and tear of your spine. When you lift anything heavy, don't lift it from afar, bring it close to your body and lift it. When you're bending down to lift something, bend at the hip and the knee and lift it. All these features will significantly reduce the instance of neck and back pain that you have and it's going to help you lead a very healthy life in the long run. So just follow these advice and you'll avoid surgery at all costs.